Welcome back champions. Last week we cleaned up an Xbox One controller with isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush and I promised you guys this week we'd disassemble it and go a bit more detailed. So we'll open him up and have a look at things like the headphone jack and I also just wanted to really quickly mention I made it to a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys. So you guys are blooming champions. Just wanted to say thank you very very much and anybody who isn't a member of the crew just hit that little red button down below and I thank you very much for it. Anyways, let's jump into the video. I'll start by saying found the back of my controller. Pretty exciting news. Uh, grab yourself a flat tool and poke this one into the back of the like, groovy little pieces uh, for the hand grips. And then you can just poke a nail in there and gently sort of, I don't know, pull away I guess you'd say. Keep picking at it and they eventually come loose. They do make pop and crack noises and things like that. Just be gentle because you'll see here I made a little boo-boo and just cracked something off, but I don't know, made no real difference. I'll just point out here, there's five screws, there is one hidden under the sticker there in the middle, so just take care there. We're going to use the T8 Torx screwdriver, so this one here is the recommended screwdriver for it. But if you're stuck and you don't have a Torx set, you can use a flat blade screwdriver. Weha is a really good brand by the way, made in Germany used to use those uh, when I was doing phone repairs in the shop. But you can uh, use a flat bladed screwdriver instead of torque screwdriver. Just make sure you use the right size flat blade for the job. Otherwise you do risk actually rounding out the screws. And that's bad news. But if you do, check out the card at the top right hand side of the screen right now. Next you want to turn the device over. Give it a little shake. Tap all the screws out and don't lose them. Then the face plate. That'll lift up and off nice and easily. Not much to that. Then you can flip the device back over again and the back plate, that'll come off. Uh, just be careful that you don't catch any wires or the triggers. Now I'm going to quickly freeze frame just there, if I can get my words right. You'll see that there's these little tab things. They slide up and off these little poles. To do that, I just grab a flat bladed screwdriver and pop him in underneath, give him a little twist and you can see that they just like to, I don't know, they do their thing. So. Once you've got that sorted, you can grab that thing off. This thing here, you can get that off next, the bumper buttons, I think you call those. So if you're doing a replacement on the shell kit or whatever it is, that's pretty much that covered. Then you've got the little well, button to connect your controller to the Xbox. That just slides up and out. Pretty straightforward, so up towards yourself and then out. Then we've got the back of the controller here. You can see the vibrate motors. They live in a little nest type thing. Lift those up and out before you go any further. And you can see they're just soldered by a positive and a negative. Now there's not much to these motors. I'm not going to go into them. But I will say that you can desolder them off the board. As you see, they're just two connections there. So if you have any problems, they're really easy to replace. But you can also mod your controller by taking them off. They weigh a fair bit and it'll make your controller lighter and save your battery power as well because the vibrate motors won't be using the power. But anyway, we want to check out the audio jack. That's another thing that you can replace. It's a really common thing to see go wrong with these. Now you see they're not soldered in or anything. So hold out for a moment. I'll show you how to get to that. You've got two screws here. I'll just point those out. They're pretty easy to undo. Just need a T6. Torx screwdriver or a slightly smaller flat bladed screwdriver than what you used to get the controller open to begin with. But once you got those screws removed, this uh, board does come apart fairly easily. Uh, you'll see that uh, the joysticks, they're one you're going to want to remove first. I, I usually forget. I did when I was making the video. Luckily the magic of editing, I'll just cut that out. But yeah, there is uh, one more thing to remember. We've got this little connector here. This is an antenna aerial type uh, coax, I think they are, cable. So you want to just disconnect that. Again, just put the flat blade screwdriver in underneath and twist it if it won't disconnect. Now that that's all done, you can do what I'm doing here. I don't know how to describe that, but that'll, that'll disconnect it all. It can be a bit difficult. Now just pause here and say, just be really careful. These wires are still attached and you don't want to snap them. That'll make more work for yourself. And we've got our audio jack here. So good one, Microsoft or Xbox. 
high quality soldering there, lack of. So that, I think they'd have lot, uh, a lot less problems with their audio jacks and a lot less returns. I think us consumers wouldn't have as many problems, don't you guys, if uh, they soldered them in, made them a bit more high quality. I somehow think they were designed to fail. Anyway, hit the like button if you agree. Now we've uh, got the joystick here. You can see I'm messing around with the side of it. I did say in the last video there's little sensors. Now I'm not a huge fan of messing around with these. They are highly delicate. I, I prefer just to replace the joystick itself. Uh, if anyone's got some tips or advice on these, let me know because I'd like to learn a little more about them myself. I haven't really done much with these, but this is a little sensor inside. They do fascinate me, but at the same time, they kind of scare me. So we'll put him back in and just leave him how he is. I actually won't even try and fix that up on video. We'll just leave it as it is for now. So yeah, this is the controller. Pretty much what I would consider fully disassembled for now. So if you guys wanted to see anything else, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, that's probably a wrap. I'm going to link a playlist just up here and a subscribe button if you just wanted to subscribe. And uh, make sure to check it all out. I'll see you guys in the next video.